So our boss has a new uh, task for us. I'm going to come down here and we'll label it task number seven. They basically want to see which employees are also customers. So which employees purchase our products? And we will be using the examples database again for this. And you will notice that we have employee table and we also have a uh, customers table. Okay, and so what they want is basically for us to select the uh, customer name from customer and we're going to select the employee first and last name from employee and then we're going to see if there is a match or more than one match uh, because if the customer first and last name is the same as the employee first and last name then we have an employee who is a customer. So we're going to say use examples. And so we're going to do two selects. The first one uh, we are going to do from customers. So we're going to look for the customer first name and the customer last name. And this is coming from customers. That's our first select. And then we're going to do another one. Uh, this one is uh, coming from employees. So we want first name and last name. It's coming from employees. Okay, so first, before I look for, you know, names that are the same, I'm going to go ahead and run this. And at this point, we have two different result sets. See, we got 24 customers, we got nine employees. So the boss is saying, hey, are any of those employees listed as customers? In order to answer that question, what we need to do is intersect the two result sets. So we're gonna put intersect in between our select statements and then we have to get rid of the first semicolon. Okay, now I'm going to run this. And I can answer the question and I can say, yes, there is one employee who likes our products. I would have hoped there was more, <laughs> but there's one. Uh, and it is. Thomas Hardy. Okay, so we've answered the question. We're going to move our closing comment down. And now the boss wants to see a report uh, basically showing all of the customers who are not employees. So kind of the opposite of what we just did. So I'm going to take this intersect query. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. So what they're asking is for us to exclude the employee from the customer list. So I'm going to change intersect to accept. And I'm going to run the query. And now I have all of the customers who are not employees. And I can move the closing comment down and save my changes.